Good morning, Central Crossing. Welcome to Wednesday. Guess what day it is, huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? I'm Tim. And I'm Tyler. So it certainly is warmer today, and I think the rain is coming. What's going on, guys? Hey guys, this is Zach. And Jesse. The high today is 58 and the low is 48. Precipitation is 0% and a humidity of 64%. And 8 mile per hour winds. Now let's go to Austin for lunch. Hello Central, I'm Austin. Today for lunch, we are having Big Daddy's Pizza. Burrito, burrito with cheese and chicken or beef and refried beans or black beans. That's it from me. Back to you, Zach and Jesse. Thanks. That's it from us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, it's youth at the booth time again. Seniors, if you are interested in making $150 from one day's work and learning a little about the voting process, all you need to do is see Miss Bodie in the ERC for an application. Next, we have advisory news. There is no advisory this week, but we will resume next week. And it is not too late for you to earn points for your team. Our advisory book drive continues through our last advisory, which is March 13th. We are looking for book donations of new and gently used books for ages birth to sixth grade. Uh, these will be donated to Nationwide Children's Hospital. Do your part to help someone else and bring in a book to donate. And here's another way to do something for someone else. It's that time again. Center Crossing's Comic Crazies is hosting another blood drive next Wednesday, March 7th, from 3 to 8 p.m. In the main gym. Take a look. Think about everything that you save. You save gas. You save money. You save time. But have you ever thought about saving life? That's right, life. In just one hour, you could save up to three lives, giving three people more time with the ones they love. And isn't that the best thing to save? The need for blood is as universal as it is constant. Save life, give blood. If you'd like to donut, <laughs> donate. If you'd like to donate, please see Mrs. Fuller in room 225 or Senior CJ Bradley to sign up. You can also email Ms. Fuller at the email listed below. Remember, if you are 16 or 17, you must have a completed parental consent form to donate. If you have any questions, please let us know. Coming up, it's Common Olympics. It is March 23rd, which is our last day before spring break. Take a look at uh, prior years. This is 15-year-old tradition in our building. You don't want to miss out. The cost this year is only $3. And remember, each class is assigned a t-shirt color. Freshmen are gray, sophomores are common blue, juniors are black, and seniors are white. Often someone from each class takes charge of for ordering t-shirts. As you start to get yourself organized, please let Mrs. Musi know so the news team can report it. We do have news on senior t-shirts. The senior class will be selling t-shirts for t-shirts for Comet Olympics from now until March 6th, which is next Tuesday. Regular shirts are $10 and shirts with names on the back are 13 See Rashad Ahmed, Nick Miller, Sam Poor, Natalie Hall, or CJ Bradley to order. You will need to pay with cash. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Now here's club news. Today we have photo club after school. And then Run Club meets this Thursday at 3.30 in room 209. For Thursday, we have one cancellation. Guitar Club will not be meeting, but they will resume next week, March 8th. On Friday, we have GSA in room 264. Next, we have news from our counseling office. One scholarship coming up is from the Southwestern City Schools Educational Foundation. Applications are available at the website, listed below. The deadline is this Friday. Seniors, you need to check Navion's daily for scholarship updates. Now let's head over to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Central Crossing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jalen. And, and we, we have... have... <laughs> Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jalen. And we have all your sports information. First up, we have news on the Cleveland Indians. Good morning, Central. I'm Bailey. And I'm here to talk about the Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland Indians will stop using the Chief Wahoo logo on their uniforms beginning in 2019. According to Major League Baseball, 
the popular symbol was no longer appropriate for use on the field. The logo has long been the source of frustration for those who consider it offensive, outdated, and racist. But for many of the team's fans, it is cherished insignia. Chief Wahoo, a cartoon character of a Native American that has assumed several forms over the years, first appeared on the Indian's uniform in 1948. Over time, thoughts and opinions change, and now it's time for Chief Wahoo to go. I'm sure we all have different opinions on this, but at least we still get to enjoy Cleveland Indian ball games. I'm looking forward to this season. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Bailey. Next, we have spring sports getting underway. The first day of track practice is only five days away, this coming Monday. But before you can participate, there are a few administrative items that you need to complete, starting with a current physical examination. Also, there is paperwork that needs to be turned in to Coach Cannon or Coach Hall by this Friday, March 2nd. If you have any questions, please see Coach Reggie Cannon or Coach Sarah Hall before Monday. And then for your girls' JV softball players, just a reminder, practice will be canceled tonight due to lack of gym space. All pitchers will still show up at 3.30 to practice with varsity. And we're already getting into fall sports for next year. Any girl interested in volleyball for next year plan to attend a short informational meeting after school in the cafeteria this Wednesday, February 28th. And then for all girls interested for tr in trying out for the Lady Comet soccer team, there will be an important player parent meeting on Tuesday, March 6th at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. If you plan to try out for the team, then you are expected to attend this meeting with at least one parent or guardian. See Coach Williams in room 259 with questions. That's it for today. Back, Back to, to you, you anchors. anchors. Thanks, friends. So everyone's still asking for terrible dad jokes, so here's Gavin with another segment. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Gavin, and they came back sooner than you thought. Here's terrible dad jokes that no one loves but keep coming back. Why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. How does a penguin build this house? It glues it together. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. I wouldn't buy anything with Velcro. It's a total ripoff. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. Thanks for joining me for another installment of terrible dad jokes that no one loves but keep coming back. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Gavin. He even has, like, a dad voice today, man. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Have a great Wednesday. See you tomorrow, Central. Peace out. You guys are good to go. Woo.